Hi everyone, welcome back to GDLC Children's Church Online. I pray that you have had a wonderful week and I am so very glad that you are joining me today. I cannot wait to get started, so let's pray. Dear Jesus, you care about each one of us. Help us to trust you, help us to trust your promises, and thank you for your great kindness and mercy toward us. We love you in your name. Amen. Great job. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about mercy. You know, what is mercy? Well, mercy is something wonderful to give and it's a wonderful thing to receive. You see, God gives us mercy each and every day, which we are so thankful for. We worship a God who is stronger than anyone we know and can take care of anything and everything because he is powerful. And he shows us his love, his compassion, and his mercy each and every day. It's kind of like our moms and dads. You know, maybe our mom or dad asked us to pick up a toy off the floor. And we thought about it, but we kind of just forgot and just ran and did something else. But then we turn around and we watch our mom and dad pick up that toy and put it away without saying anything toward, to us. Our mom and dad just showed us mercy, right? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to sing a song to kick off Children's Church, and we're going to sing Because of His Mercy, because that's what we're talking about today, God's mercy. So let's sing. job everyone okay so we're gonna play just a quick game okay so I need you to stand up all right so we're all standing right <laughs> well I'm gonna ask you a question and if this has happened to you sit down okay so first question have you ever borrowed something from a friend and then broken it or lost it if you have sit down. Now I can't see you, <laughs> but, and, but you can see me and I don't have a chair, but that is something that I would sit down with because of course I've had a friend give me something and I've done both. I've accidentally broken something a friend has let me borrow 
and I've accidentally lost something and I've had it happen to me too. So I'd be sitting, okay? But if you're still standing, here's the second question. Have you ever sneaked candy or cookies when you weren't supposed to? If you've done that, sit down. <laughs> now, I'm sure we're all sitting with this one because I, if I hadn't gotten the first one, this one would definitely get me. I still sneak candy and cookies when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I love those things and I don't care when it's gonna ruin a meal. I'd rather have dessert first, right? But really, if you've done that, sit down. All right, third one. If you have ever disobeyed your parents, sit down. Now, I'm sure we're all sitting by this point, right? Because of course, we have not listened to our parents each and every time they've said something. They might have said, hey, clean your room, and we don't. <coughs> they might, excuse me, they might have said, help with the dishes, and we don't, right? We've disobeyed our parents. Well, all of us have done wrong things, right? But you can stay seated now, okay? <coughs> but when we do wrong things, we can always count on God to forgive us. And as long as we say we're sorry for them, he forgives us and he shows us his mercy. He, we, he has mercy on us and he doesn't punish us the way we might deserve, right? Because God is merciful, all right? So we're gonna watch this video called Mercy Beat, all right? And so um, when in the video, there's gonna be little segments that say pause the video. Go ahead and pause it when it says to you and think about these questions, okay? I want you to think about whether or not the person that you're hearing about deserves mercy or forgiveness or not at all. And so then hit play and listen to the next one. I believe there's five people you're going to hear about. It's a short video. Okay. So let's watch the video. This is the city. I work here. I carry a badge. It was 7.55 p.m., the end of a long, grueling day of police work. Just another day, like any other day on the beat. I was at my desk filing reports, and I took a moment to take stock of the day. We arrested five people. Five people who decided to break the law. Here are their stories. This is Bobby Tom Bodine. Mr. Bodine was picked up on a charge of bank robbery. Bobby Tom's son caught his father trying to take $3.73 out of his piggy bank. When confronted by police, Mr. Bodine said he couldn't help himself. He had a Big Mac attack. We wanted to put Mr. Bodine away, away for good. After all, you can't possibly justify stealing money from your own son. But the son refused to press charges. Mr. Bodine was released, a free man, despite the crime he committed. Meet Priscilla Terwilliger. Ms. Terwilliger is a fourth grade teacher brought in on a charge of assigning too much homework. Students claim that they must do homework every night. Some of the kids even miss their favorite television shows because they were busy doing homework. Ms. Terwilliger was put on trial for her crime and was found guilty by a unanimous vote. She was sentenced to write, I will not assign too much homework on the blackboard 100 million times. Meet Veronica Bowman. We picked up Veronica, a.k.a. Ronnie, on the schoolyard. It was the usual racket. Ronnie'd corner the kids and make them give her their lunch money. She's got enough lunch money saved up to go to Disney World 15 times. Ronnie was charged with being a really mean bully. She was tried and found guilty. 
Her punishment? She had to buy and eat 52 school lunches. On the day when the cafeteria served, chef surprise. Then she was assigned to kitchen duty at her elementary school for the next 10 years. This is Trudy McPherson. She's a quiet grandmother who enjoys growing roses. You never suspect that she's a cold-hearted cat burglar. Yet neighbors claim that Mrs. McPherson has been stealing their cats by luring them with her famous liver fricassee. When we arrived at the perpetrator's house, there were some two dozen cats meowing at her back door. She claims that she feeds the cats because she loves them. She didn't mean to steal them. When the neighbors heard this, they felt compassion for her and refused to press charges. This is Billy Anderson. Billy is an average kid. We were surprised when his parents called us. But when we got to his home, the parents laid it all up. They told us that Billy had been known to miss his bedtime. And just that morning, Billy forgot to do his chores before he went out to play. We had no choice but to run Billy in and throw the book at him. Billy broke the rules. You can't just let that go. But his parents are the ones who will have to decide what to do. What do you think they should do with a son like Billy? So what do you think? <laughs> do you think those people deserved mercy or not? Wow, you know, with God, we are so grateful that he gives us his mercy and his forgiveness each and every day. Because do we deserve his mercy? We do not. We are sinful people, right? But we thank God for his forgiveness, that he loves us so much. He can look past that and he forgives us. He shows us his mercy. He sent Jesus, right, to die for us and to rise again so we can live with him in heaven forever and have his mercy with us each and every day. And this reminds me, uh, and this is all about what we're going to talk about in our Bible lesson today, okay? Our Bible lesson comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. I looked in my children's Bible. I didn't see this lesson, but you can look. Otherwise, grab your big person's Bible and turn to Mark chapter 10, okay? And um, starting at verse 46, we're learning about how Jesus heals blind Bartimaeus, okay? So here we go. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bart Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. Okay, so imagine being blind, just sitting by the roadside begging for people to give you coins so that you had something to eat, right? Oh, I, when, I don't want to do that. But when he heard in verse 47 that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Bartimaeus cried out, Jesus, have mercy on me. Amazing, right? Because we have that same cry when we do something wrong. Jesus, forgive me, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped because he heard him and said, call him and tell him to come to me. Okay. So they said, come, get up. He is calling you. And so throwing off his cloak, <laughs> he jumped up and he came to Jesus. He jumped up and he came to Jesus. He didn't know what was going to happen, but he knew Jesus would have mercy on him. And so Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. That's all he wanted. He wanted to be able to see. 
right? And I can't blame him. I love the use of my eyes. And when I wear contacts, I wear glasses, and when I don't have those things on or in, it's really hard for me to see things clearly. But I'm so grateful that I have glasses and that I have contacts where I can read and see beautiful things, colors, right? And not have blindness. And there's so many people out there that are just like Bartimaeus. And he said, let me recover my sight, please. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately at that instant, he recovered his sight and followed Jesus. Amazing, right? Bartimaeus cried out. And Jesus heard him and said, what do you want? What do you need? And all he wanted was, Jesus, have mercy on me. Help me recover my sight. And so today we've learned Jesus has mercy on each of us, just like he did for blind Bartimaeus, right? Jesus showed him and gave him back his sight and healed him. And Jesus has mercy on us each and every day. Because when we do something that we shouldn't, he forgives us and because he loves us, right? And so for our family activity today, I want you to think about some acts of kindness. <laughs> now, you can do this with your immediate family. You can think of your neighbors. You can think of your friends, right? But I want you to think of something that you can do for your family. Let's just do our family members, okay? You can also think about your friends and your neighbors. But think about something that you can do to show kindness, to show mercy on your family members. Maybe you've made a mess of your room. <laughs> and you know your mom or dad are going to say, clean your room. Maybe before they even say it, you just do that. And maybe when you get up in the morning, you just make your bed and show mercy on your mom <laughs> so she doesn't have to. And maybe you pick up your towels after you shower or you take a bath so your dad doesn't have to do that, right? Show kindness, show mercy. What can you do for your family members that would show kindness, okay? So do that as a family. <laughs> surprise one another and show how much showing mercy can actually be joyful and contagious. All right? Okay, so to end our children's church today, we are going to sing to God be the glory. All right? Because everything we do, we do for God. He is merciful to us, and so we want to be merciful to others and we want to thank him. To God be the glory. Let's sing.
Great job, everyone. <laughs> oh, to close out Children's Church today, we're going to close in prayer. And before we do so, I just want you to know how much I am praying for you, each of you. And may God bless you and may he show his mercy on you each and every day because he loves you. All right, so let's pray. Dear God, we praise you and thank you for being merciful to us and for doing so many good things in our lives. Oh, Lord, we mess up each and every day, but you are merciful to us. You don't hurt us or laugh at us or punish us. Instead, you offer us love and forgiveness, compassion and mercy. You do what's best for us so we will grow into responsible, loving, mature people. Thank you for loving us so very much. Thank you for your mercy. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful week, everyone. <laughs> Bye.